What's up, everybody? We're back, and this is more Addicted to Guitar for you. So what's up everybody? I'm Caesar, and I'm really happy to be back. We've been slacking a lot lately. We haven't been bringing you the videos we wanted to, but it's all been for a good reason. As you can see, we put in some time and effort. We redid the room. I say we, but it's really me. I redid the room. A uh, big shout out to Rex Price for helping me do this. And uh, I think it came out great. And this is all to be able to bring you guys uh, more awesome guitar videos. So I wanted to do something a little special today. Uh, our friend Dave from Dave on a Stick, he lent us this bad boy. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it. But this is the SY1. This is an incredible pedal. He lent it to us. And I did a, uh, a little jam with it just to give you guys some sounds of it. And it came out pretty good, but I promised that I would do a review of it. And I thought, do you guys really want a review of the specs and everything? I mean, you guys can just go on like Sweetwater or the Boss website and just figure all that out for yourself. So I thought even better, I would give you guys some ideas on how to use this thing. Cause in reality, this is a monster. It's incredibly powerful. I think it replaces the old MIDI one where you needed the MIDI pickup and the big piece of hardware. You don't need that anymore because of this guy. And it's incredible. It tracks quickly and it gives you lots of different sounds. There is some drawbacks to it because it is so incredibly powerful, it takes a little while to figure out. You gotta figure out the attack, how the sound works out, uh, the whole slope of the, of the envelope and how it fades out. So if you understand synthesizers and synthesis, there is a little bit of a learning curve in figuring out how to make it sound emotional and natural versus kind of quirky and wah, 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 that's a, uh, that's a technical term, wah, wah, wah. So it does give you a lot of cool things, but I wanted to give you guys an idea on how to use it. So right now we're gonna stop. We're gonna get some housekeeping out of the way. If you're digging what we're doing, uh, look down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, that is awesome to support us. That's the best thing you can do to support us. The next best thing is to hit the like button, which is the thumbs up. And even more important than all that, guys, please leave comments, because I wanna talk to you guys. I wanna know what you're thinking. I wanna know if you're digging what we're doing. And uh, if you have any ideas to make it better. Yeah. All right. So uh, back to this guy. So I, uh, I did a little jam, which you heard a little bit of, and you'll hear a little bit of it later with this guy. So I picked a lead sound and I just used it as a filler, like a thickener. So the cool thing about this is that it gives you two volume knobs. It gives you a volume knob for your guitar sound that's coming through unaffected and it gives you a, a volume for the actual synthesis sound so you can mix the two which is a great idea because the synthesis sound is great but in reality we're guitar players and being able to mix the two sounds i think is where at least for now i have found the best use for the, this this pedal here so that's what i did and i thought i also have been slacking on this this is the sonic cake blue screamer i'm gonna try to give you guys another See if I can get the light to shine on it. Yeah, that's it right there. And uh, I promised you guys a review on this pedal like months ago, maybe like last year. And I'll tell you, I'm gonna be completely honest with you why I haven't given it to you. It's taken me a while to figure out how to use this pedal properly. Not trying to figure out the knobs and everything, but how to make it sound good. So I have been using it, you know, it has two types of um, sounds. This is on the loud sound. And if I'm not mistaken, tell me if I'm wrong, the loud one is, um, actually I don't remember now. 
you know, one of these is supposed to be a dumbbell kind of sound, and then the other one is supposed to be a tube screamer kind of sound. I'm pretty sure that what I have it on is the dumbbell sound. And the dumbbell sound is thick and rich, but it's a little too thick for humbuckers. And that's been the problem with it. I've been trying to really dig into this pedal with humbucker guitars, and I really haven't found a way to make it sound great. But what I did do is use single coils. So I used this thin line Tele style guitar and it really opened it up. So I ran my guitar into this one and I'm gonna show you guys some clips and I think maybe you've already seen it of the setup, right? I ran into this and then I ran into this and I thought it really gave me a great sound. So I gave you a little sample of it uh, before, I'll give you a little sample of it afterwards. And I'm also gonna give you some samples of what these sounds sound like individually. So first off, we're gonna give you what the guitar sounds like just through the amp. So that's just what the normal guitar sounds like. Now this is the sound when you add the synthesizer. So pretty cool, right? You can kind of hear how the synthesizer kind of blooms underneath as the sound develops. It's not hard on the attack, but it does fill up the bottom. And as you can see, it does track really well. There's really not an audible lag between your guitar sound and when the, the synthesizer sound kind of kicks in. Just that particular sound uh, isn't a hard attack sound. There are lots of sounds on this that are very hard attack sounds. So it's not that the pedal is lagging, it's that that's the sound. Uh, and now here is the sound of all three, the guitar, the synthesizer pedal, and the Blue Screamer together. And I thought it sounded really good. I thought it came out pretty nice with the jam. I tried to do something kind of bluesy, so I gave you the Thrill is Gone kind of thing in B minor. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, like I said, right now, that's been the best way I found to use this pedal. Unfortunately, this was loaned to me by our friend Dave from Dave on a Stick. Not unfortunate that he loaned it to me, but unfortunate that he will probably want it back very soon. So I wanted to really try to get into it, give you guys as much uh, of it as I can give you and also try to figure it out because I think this runs about $200 so it's not cheap and if you get it you want to be able to use it for something and it's very powerful but it's a lot to get into it's a, it's a lot to to kind of surmount that's a good word right surmount like a mountain so it would take a little while for you guys to do that so I wanted to give you guys a quick idea of what to do with it if you got it right away so that's it and on this guy, like I said, uh, humbuckers, it really didn't dig it too much, but single coils, this pedal loves single coils. It really comes alive. I'm pretty sure, like I said, the loud sound is the dumble. Please tell me if I'm wrong down there so you can clear it up for everybody else who's watching this. I will also try to give you more reviews of this in the other setting, which is supposed to be the Tube Screamer setting. And I do have a TS9, so I'm gonna try to do like an AB thing for you to see how it sounds. Um, yeah, we'll see how it sounds. It probably has that mid-boosty thing. But um, this pedal is not bad. I'm getting into it. 
getting into it. I think for the price, it isn't bad either. I do love these little boxes. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a whole little box pedal rig because I think you can basically get every sound you want on this and then you can get like a mini eight inch Wawa. I saw Dunlop has a mini eight inch Wawa. So you slap that guy on the edge there, you get a little uh, tuner that's this size and bam, you got yourself a little mini, uh, mini rig. So how cool is that? All right, guys, so if you dug what we're doing, please, again, look down there. Go ahead and subscribe for us because you're going to want to know everything we're doing because we're doing this stuff all the time, especially now that we got this new room. Uh, it is a little echoey. Echo, echo, echo. But we're working on that. But um, otherwise, I think it's looking pretty good. You can see I got my string swing up there and I got some guitars up there. So hopefully those guitars will uh, change for you and you get a good look at some of the other stuff I've got. Hopefully you're digging what we're doing. Uh, give us the thumbs up and uh, please leave a comment. Let us know what we're doing. All right, guys, thanks for watching.